it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I have a calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com that you can download and follow along. And I see today here that it says, Unusual Product Taste Test. Now, I like to go to a lot of grocery stores while I'm doing this series, and I see a lot of unusual products, and it's become kind of a tradition that I taste a few and tell you what they taste like, because I know you see them in the store and are like, what does that taste like? Well, I have got a few here to surprise myself with, and I'm going to tell you what some of these taste like. Some of them are a little bit different, and some of them are drinks and snack foods, and it's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2018. I'll be right back. Welcome back. First up, we have sugar cane nectar, and well, that kind of looks like bamboo, and I spent the night the other day learning how pandas eat bamboo, and that is unusual. Anyway, um, this is um, some sort of drink made from sugar cane, which I'm sure is sweet. And um, I've got a glass here, and I've got it chilled. Um, so let's see. Um, it is kind of a, I don't know, I guess that I would call this a grapefruit kind of color. It's not really, it's not orange. Definitely not. But grapefruit's got that kind of, I don't know, it's just not a really pretty color. But, um, I, mm, it does smell kind of green. Um, I guess that's, I could say what that smells like here. Um, um, I, it's the only one way to say here. Um, it's very sweet. Um, it's got kind of a floral taste. Um, it's one of those drinks that has a kind of an odor to it that kind of changes it as it um, uh, the taste. Because um, if you smell it, um, it, it just adds to the... It's one of those difficult food. It's a scientist thing, I tell you, it is. Uh, but um, it smells a little off, but it tastes kind of very sweet and very good, um, but that smell, and if you're drinking it, it's kind of like, I don't know, medicine-like when you don't breathe when you take medicine, I guess. Not this, not medicine, but you know what I mean. Um, but it is kind of good. Um, very sweet. Um, does not taste green. Um, but that is sugar cane nectar. Next up, I found these cute little cans that said grape, and then I think it's sack sack. I don't know, um, but not much more that I could um, figure out. Um, it's probably just kind of a grape drink. But it might taste just a little bit different. Um, maybe a different kind of grape. Not much color to it. Um, not no oh. Oh, there seems to be something floating in there. Um, it looks like grapes. Um, it looks like grape shavings um, with that. Yet. Um, maybe that. Wow. I wasn't looking for that. I'm hoping that's what that is. Um, expiration. Okay, we're good on that. Um, I guess that's, let's read the ingredients to make sure that's supposed to be in there. Um, oh, it says pulp. Okay. But that looks like a big grape in there. That was scary, I thought. Oh, let's see. Um, that 
very sweet. Um, almost like a fruit cocktail sweet syrup. Um, this is like a dessert drink, I would think. Um, this is, I can see that it has some consistency to it. And it does have the pulp in it, and um, it, it's not like a decoration. It's like, what is in my drink um, with that? Um, but that is interesting. Sack, sack, um, grape with floaty things. Well, look at that. Apparently, it's a thing. Um, sack, sack, orange. Um, since we found out in the other one, it's going to have some sort of floaty things in this. Um, so let's go ahead and take a, uh, oh wow. Um, that is, I'm not used to seeing that in a drink like that. It's just like the little pulp of the, um, I, it says mandarin orange with that, um, but it is very pulpy. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a taste. Um, it smells like orange. Um, kind of has like a, I don't know, like you're swallowing guppies or something like this. Little tiny fish. Um, this is, um, it, they do, I mean, it looks like little goldfish in there. Um, this is just, I don't know, it's just kind of strange with that pulp in there. Um, tastes very good with the orange. Um, again, I don't know when I would drink this. Maybe not for breakfast or um, it's just really, um, maybe it's just a dessert um, kind of drink. Um, so that was a sack sack orange. Next up, we have a lemon barley drink, and barley, I don't know, that's a grain, and I'm sure it's healthy or something, um, but I don't know um, why that needs to be, I, I think they may make some sort of alcoholic thing out of that, uh, but this is not. Um, it has a slight um, clear kind of white color here, and, uh, woo, woo. It's kind of like an off lemon smell, like lemon yeast um, with that. Yet. Um, this one, mmm, let's see. Um, wow, well, surprisingly, this is one of those ones that smells really bad. But tastes really interesting. It has wow. Let me see if I can do that again. It's very tasty. Um, lemon and like a cream taste. Um, but the aroma um, gets in the way of that. Um, it's very tasty actually. Um, a lemon barley drink. Um, it's just that, that odor, um, I don't know how to overcome that, maybe a wider cup, um, with that. Um, very good, actually. Um, unusual, though. Next up is this, it says, Pororo, I don't know, I can't say it, I'm sorry. Uh, milk flavor, and I'm scared of this. Um, it's shelf stable, and, um, let's see. Oh, wow. Well, it is kind of white and um, does kind of foam there. And, oh, well, it smells kind of like cream soda, so maybe not so bad. Um, let's see here. Um, tastes like cream soda, not so bad. Um, just a little bit scary in the package. Um, it says milk powder, so. Um, cream soda normally doesn't have that in there. Very sweet. Um, this would, wow, well, that would, too much of that would, your kid would be going, um, bouncing around the walls, I would think. Um, but it's not as scary as I thought it would be. Um, 
it is a milk flavored, so I would say like a cream soda with that. Um, but that, that's kind of interesting. Next up, I have a honey butter chip, and it says with real honey, and I like honey. It's one of the things that I like to pick up with my travels, and I like to give it as gifts, especially around the holidays. And um, I like butter too, and in a chip, I mean, it's like the, I think the word's trifecta with a, uh, Wow, that is good. I was expecting sweet, but um, they did that with a kind of like a the savory of a corn on the cob flavor. Um, that is good. Um, I think that is a winner. Um, I would eat this whole bag and not have a problem with it. Um, this is the, I taste the honey, the butter, and it's savory um, more than it is when I think of sweet, um, but kind of like corn on the cob, kind of that buttery taste, uh, but that's good. And finally, I have a chitato, um, it says fried noodle flavored, um, and it's a chip, and I do love potato chips, and fried noodles, I mean, that's got to be tasty in a chip, so let me see what these taste like. Mmm! Very savory. Wow. There's a kick that comes later on with that. Very spicy, too. Um, I do taste the kind of noodle flavor and um, like Asian spice um, with that. Um, I would eat this whole bag, but they are hot, um, like a hot spice. Mmm. These are kind of good. I'm going to have to eat these all later. Mmm. Fried noodle flavored potato chips. Thanks for tuning in today. I always like to try unusual products that I find at the grocery store. What are some of the things that you have found lately at the grocery store that you are just like, wonder what that tastes like? Leave a comment. Don't forget to follow me. I've got a video every day until the 25th. You can download a calendar at TrueTheParkChristmas.com so you can follow along. And I see tomorrow that it says, for the love of chocolate. So I know that there's a chocolate recipe coming. Don't forget to tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas and share these videos with them as well. I love spending the holidays with you. Visit TrailerParkChristmas.com for more tips and tricks to live the Trailer Park way and celebrate the Trailer Park Christmas 2018 with me, Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. I love you, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out.